Hello, my name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can allocate compensation to your team. Through My Team and Workforce Compensation, I can start to work my team's compensations. Here I can see all of the compensation plans that I have access to. Primary managed plans are plans in which I'll have responsibility for submitting the allocation for approval. Secondary managed plans and other plans for review I cannot submit for approval. Depending on how the plan is set up, I can provide input to another manager, or I may just be able to view the plan. Not only can I see what plans are assigned to me, I can also see my access, the status, and approvals. I see that a budget has been allocated to me, and some work has been done on this plan, as the current status is work in progress. I can also take action on my plans or submit the plan for approval. Compensation plans are configurable. The compensation department has set up this plan with tasks to guide us through this process. On the reward page, I can allocate salary, bonus, and stock. The total values for our organization will be displayed in the scoreboard view. I can also switch to the analytic view to see this information in a more visual format. There are several actions I can take, such as changing a worker's eligibility or reassigning a worker to another worksheet manager. I can see all the information made available to me to make informed compensation decisions. Within the worksheet, I can filter who I want to see. Using the Team filter, I can select just my direct reports, a specific manager, or look at all. Alerts can be very useful when allocating compensation. For example, they can call attention when I enter a value that exceeds the allowed amount, when there's a salary issue, or when a worker terminates. Entering information on the worksheet is easy. In this plan, columns I can enter information into have been shaded so I can identify them quickly. You'll notice as I entered an amount, the bonus percentage automatically calculates. I can also enter notes or attachments to help justify my entries to my approving manager. When I'm finished with my allocations, I can save the worksheet and return to it later or submit it for approval. If I submit it, I will not be able to make further updates to the worksheet and my manager will be notified that my allocations are ready for review. Once I've submitted my worksheet for approval, I can send feedback. Sending feedback is a great way to inform compensation administrators what did and did not work during the compensation cycle. Once I've filled out the survey, I only need to submit and I've completed my allocations for this cycle. This concludes the Allocating Compensation tutorial. You can find more information and learning resources in your Oracle Help application, the Oracle Learning Library, and at Oracle University. Thank you.